So that's the answer to the question of what goes on during NFL practice. Yeah, they're just fucking around. That that is that's what goes on. What did you just you flipped us? Anyway, that's what happens during uh, NFL practice. Yeah, basically, um, they just figure out pres uh, celebrations. What's up, Josh? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. We got a quick show today. We're gonna do about what half hour. Yeah, so, basically. Um, the good news is we don't have <laughs> – the good news is we're not uh, going to have to go in depth here to Thursday Night Football. In fact, if you know what, you want to just – No, we – what? You want to just go out – do you want to just make the pick now and then just go into the show? Because, like, it's – no one cares about this game. Absolutely no one cares about this game. Apologize. No. Apologize. The worst team in the NFL, spoiler no, alert, apologize. Vikings, and the Steelers, who suck. Apologize. No, the Steelers are apologize, terrible. or else the show's done right now. I'm ending stream. I can click the button right now. <laughs> okay, that's all you apologize. No, the Steelers are terrible. I have no Trubisky's a Steeler. And that's why this is the game of the year because you. Get to see a different beast tomorrow night, Josh. You get to see greatness at the helm. Bill Belichick? You get to see Tomlin? what makes the NFL go round. You get to see it all. The NFL's a circle? Yes. And the that. person who runs that circle is Maserati Mitchell Trubisky. Really? Yeah. I thought that was Marvin Harrison's nickname. Maserati Mitch? I thought that it was, was Money old, Mitch. No, there was Money Mitch, but then also Maserati Mitch was an old Bears nickname. I've never heard that used. Maserati Mitch. And he's going to ball the fuck out tomorrow night, dude. He's going to kill him. I'm taking every single Mitchell Trubisky over. Every single one. And guess who's scoring tomorrow night, Josh? You, told, you said the other day, Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson, Mitch is going to hit him for like a 30-yard bomb down the sideline out of nowhere, and it's going to be the coolest thing ever. And but I'm going to like cry. How funny would it be if the Steelers lose this game? How funny would it be? I'd cry. Even if Mitch balls out? Yes. What if Mitch balls out and they still lose? Cry. I want to see Mitch get a win so bad. Dude, you don't understand. Like, Mitch is probably like one of my favorite NFL players ever. Ever. I love. Hey, I love Joe, Trubisky. but I was rooting for him to lose. No, I can't do that. Well, I mean, I have no, I don't care about this game at all. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, let's go Steelers all day. I'm going to be the biggest Steelers fan in the world tomorrow and the biggest Mitchell Trubisky fan in the world tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be anyway, awesome. For, uh, picks right here um, for the week because. We all four of us got Monday night and Sunday night wrong. Um, but still yeah. not a completely terrible week Expected. of picks. It just got way worse on the two primetime games. Uh, but me, Michael, and the fans were eight and five. You went seven and six. Fuck. But, that wasn't very sharp of me. I wasn't sharp this week. Okay, let's see. Um, rushing yards. They don't have a line for Mitchell Trubisky's rushing yards, dude. He's gonna run like crazy. He's got. He's actually not a bad runner. No, he's not at all, dude. He's got wheels. He's, he's actually under zero point five interceptions. Um, he's not throwing a pick. Unironically, the Patriots completion. defense is not terrible. Yeah, but they're playing against they actually, Mitchell Trubisky. No, that's my point. They're playing against Mitchell Trubisky, and this defense is not bad. 
Yeah, and Mitchell Trubisky is going to ball the fuck out against them. Dude, I'm crafting right now, Josh. This is pretty cool. Do what I think is, that out of curiosity, have you looked, what is the spread for this game? Steelers minus six. Six? Yeah. So you could take it for your upside of the week, but that would be a dumb mistake. I would not. I don't like that as a spread. I would say as a spread, I would take the Patriots to cover. All right, what do we think about this? Mitchell Trubisky over 181.5 passing yards. Mitchell Trubisky over 0.5 passing touchdowns. Mitchell Trubisky under 0.5 passing interceptions. And Mitchell Trubisky over 30.5 longest passing completion. I was about to say it's Matt Canada, but no, it's not. It's not Matt Canada. Yeah. Um, oh, also, also, chat, Um, what I need from you guys is shout out to all you guys on Monday. You guys gave me a solid first touchdown score. Yes. You as well, Josh. You guys gave me a solid one. So, all right, we need two people. Who's scoring first on Thursday night? Let's give one from each team. That way, like, we can do something. Well, no, just I'm you two Steelers find the end zone. You don't bet the first touch. Eh, actually, you do sometimes. Everybody comment down below. Who's scoring first in this Pittsburgh Steelers game? For the Patriots, if you're going to take a Patriot, it would be Zeke. Jalen Warren? He's not even listed on here. What? That's weird. Yeah, he's not even listed on here. Oh, wait. Didn't he get banged up? He might have. Didn't he? Hold on. Let me look. I feel like he did. Let's see. Everybody, comment down below who's scoring first in the Steelers. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. I need to see a lot of comments. Josh, who do you think scoring first? Um... Give me something crazy, Josh. Go down to the depths of your mind and figure out somebody who's scoring I, first. I actually really do not think Allen Robinson is a bad bet. All right, that's one. That's one. Let's see. Um, a Trubisky rushing touchdown also would be possible. Okay, those are the two: Allen Robinson and Mitchell Trubisky. Allen Robinson is ten dollars to one hundred and twelve. And Mitchell Trubisky is ten dollars to one hundred three. All right, Najee's boring. Najee's like not a bad answer, but that's boring. Mitch and A. Rob are locked in. This is what I'm doing right now because I haven't actually placed any of my bets yet. So, all right, here, make your uh, official pick here. By the way, yeah, I'm. Well, I have to craft this at the same time. We're taking the Steelers in the over. So it's Steelers minus six in the over. Mitchell Trubisky. The over under is thirty, right? Yes. And it's Mitchell Trubisky over on passing yards. That looks good. We'll throw. Is it crazy that I think the under might still hit? Really? I mean, a, that Patriots stat, I cannot get out of my head. That They're the first team ever. I'm about to pull off the biggest To allow 10 or ever. less in three straight games. You go 0 and 3. Or the Josh, first I want to get, get it out of the way. I want to get out of the way. Hold on. I, I just... I want to get it out of the way, okay? Do you want to make it your lock? I can't find the video. But, yes, make it my lock. This is my lock of the week is the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the New England Patriots 27 to 10. All right. Um, Let's go, Steelers, baby. Come on, Mitch. Oh, wait, I got to cra- – now I got to actually place the Mitch lay. I'm actually going to make, like, a legitimate – a quick preview here because there's not much to talk about. But I'll – go ahead. in terms of the Patriots, uh, we're going to get in my power rankings right after that. But I'll tell you right now, they are number 32. I think they deserve that. Um, not that Carolina also doesn't, but I think New England's performance over the last three weeks – has uh, more than earned that title of being the worst team in the NFL right now. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson's not going to play, so expect to see uh, what's left of Zeke Elliott get, like, 20 carries, which will be fun. Now, I have no faith whatsoever in the Patriots' offense to score more than 10. The Steelers' offense, with Trubisky in there, Every time Trubisky has played in Pittsburgh, he has not been very good at all. He was way, he has been way, he was way better as a bear than he was a Steeler so far, based off the little we've seen from him in Pittsburgh. Way better in Chicago. And that's not saying much, but he was. He was way better. So. Wait, who? Trubisky. Way better in Chicago than a Steeler, right? That's what I just said. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. I, I zoned out. I was just making sure. Yeah. Because was like, what you know, the fuck? Because every time we've seen Trubisky play in Pittsburgh, he has not been good. Like, at okay, all. don't say that, because this is a different game. This is a different game. Okay. I think, I mean, Pittsburgh has to be my pick. But it's like, the question is because I want to catch up at score margin because Michael's up by like four. I'll say, yeah, Pittsburgh dude, Michael's wins. a little fucker. Pittsburgh wins by four. Wow. Um, I'll say it's a push 17 13. 17 to 13. Wow. Oh, you've changed That's crazy. Well, we're going to take yeah, away the see. ticker anyway because we're going to do the power rankings. Why? I just changed it to pink. I thought that was well, We cute. can put it right back up after the power. Dude, rankings. guess what I did last night, right? You can't see the bottom. Guess what I did last night. What? What is that? It's a turkey on a cookie. <laughs> Nice. And you're, you're like a yeah, week or two late, but chocolate chip. Well, yeah, nice. because we were gonna get the fucking Christmas ones, but then the turkey ones were on clearance, and it's the same you might thing. As well, yeah, yeah, it was like an extra like two dollars off, and I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, no, you might as well. Days. Yeah. So here you go, your power rankings for the week. Uh, I straight up just flipped the Niners and Eagles and kept the Ravens where they were, um, which I think is fair. Yeah. Dolphins and Chiefs switch places. Lions and Jags switch places. Dude, the Bears Cleveland, are moving up on everybody's the list. Loss moved up again. We talked about last week about just how there's very few teams. I couldn't believe that I had Houston at nine. I feel like Houston now has deserved that nine spot. Now we're talking about numbers ten through twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Is insane. I'm shocked Numbers 10 that you only 22. dropped. I, don't, I do not like my order from 10 through 22, but the problem is I don't know what to change it with. I'm shocked that you only dropped the Chiefs one. But that was a pretty bad loss. It was, but then you look at the teams of Detroit. They couldn't close out the game. Mm -hmm. Jacksonville also lost. And Houston's not yeah. jumping up to six. Agreed. So Agreed. It, it was like, you can't move them down more than one. They deserve to, but you can't move yeah. anyone up. 100%. I feel like Green Bay could move up a little more, but I didn't know. No, fuck them. That's a waste of time. They could move up, and I feel like they might over the next few weeks. The Rams and Saints. Well, yeah, because they have the most cupcake schedule known to man over the next couple of weeks. Right, but you play is on your schedule. I mean, who is what is their schedule? The whole NFC North is an easy schedule. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Look at their fucking schedule these last That's, couple. Yeah, weeks. isn't the entire NFC North like have a really easy schedule to finish out the year? Or is that wrong? Uh yeah, a little bit. The Bears I'm have pretty a pretty sure. easy schedule. Let me look. We got uh Giants, Bucks, Panthers, Vikings, Bears. Yeah. So the Packers are making the playoffs. Yeah. The Lions finish with Saints, Bears, Broncos, Vikings, Cowboys, Vikings. That's actually pretty tough. Those last four of Broncos, Vikings, Cowboys, Vikings, that's tough. Yeah. Who uh, is that? Detroit? Yeah. Hmm. And then the Vikings finish with Raiders, Bengals, Lions, Packers, Lions. So the Vikings finish with three straight divisional games. Yeah, that's wild. I don't know, dude. A lot of it's going to come down to the fucking wire. It's going to be crazy. But the it Bears is. and the, the Packers, AFC and NFC. The Bears and the Packers have the easiest schedule the rest of the year at the NFC North. You know who has a very has a, the toughest? I know there's five games left, but the toughest final four games. Do you know which team that is? The Baltimore Ravens. Yep. Nice. Ravens are Jacksonville Sunday Night Football in Jacksonville. Niners in San Francisco on Christmas night, home against Miami, home against Pittsburgh. That's how we finish the year. There you go. If, That's pretty cool, though. And then we have the Rams uh, at 1 o'clock this week. If the Ravens win out, they are at the noon. number one seed. If the Ravens at win noon. out, they're the number one seed. Can you we play agree? them at noon. You play them at noon. 
whatever, whatever time you want to say. Not one o'clock. Dude, that sucks so much. We talk about it. It really does. But I feel like Central it, it just sounds so weird. And it sounds weird to hear you say noon. Yeah, it's nooner. And it, there's, it starts at noon. But real quick, can we both agree? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Um, looking at the Ravens, the way they finished this, the year. If, if they win out, go five and zero through that stretch, can we both agree that they should be considered the Super Bowl favorites? If they can win out through that stretch, of Jacksonville, San Fran, Miami, Pittsburgh, if they can win that, if they can go four and zero in that stretch, they should if they go four and zero, sure. But you're yeah. probably I'm not gonna saying drop they're going to. You're probably going to drop a game or two. Yeah, yeah. You're By probably going to drop a game or two. Ravens Niners on Christmas night. Woo! That's lit. Ravens Twitter has been hyping that up for the last few weeks. And yeah, that, that, I mean, look at it. Look at my power rankings, top two teams right now. Is that in San Fran or in Baltimore? In San Fran, yeah. Oh, damn. Dude, if you have to go to that game on Christmas Day, we'll give you something to do. Oh, yeah. That is actually going to be, it's a good time to promote this. The game will kick at eight. That is the exact start time for this year's 24 hour stream. Because of yeah. that, we don't want to finish it. We're going to start it. So it's going to go into the 24th to 25th. It's 25th to the 26th this year. And no Burns and Berman on Christmas Day. I will be with family the whole day. Not to mention we're going to be getting ready for the 24 hours. Straight. 24 hours. Yeah, I'll hop. I'll, I'll pop in. You definitely can pop on for that. Day. Especially yeah, this year. It's after. Uh, it's. I do have I do have a very big day of the day after Christmas, though. Oh, wow. I got, I got the annual pool tournament that I have Ooh. to win. I lost last year, so I gotta win. Yeah, I'm also looking whole... at my uh, at the power rankings here, and I'm realizing that out of the top twelve, one, two, three, four of them, four out of the top twelve are NFC. Eight of the top twelve are AFC. One, yeah, two, makes sense. The NFC sucks, dick, dude. Yeah, I know, but it's crazy to like just look at that and realize that. Yeah, they just suck. The NFC is terrible. That also means that, according to me, one of the top 12 teams in the NFL is going to miss the playoffs this year. Yeah. And That's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. And it's not going to be the Indianapolis Colts because they're going to make the playoffs. It's probably going to be Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo sucks. They suck. Probably Buffalo. Also, it could be also Cleveland. Looking at Pittsburgh's schedule, Yeah, Cleveland might miss too. Yeah. Browns and Steelers. Dude. No, not Browns and Steelers. They don't play week 18. We, <laughs> we got um with the mayor of Nashville. Is that Reinsdorf? Yes. Ooh. The worst owner in sports. One of. Yeah, I was about to say. Well, yeah, he Dan owns Snyder the Bulls, too. That. Dan Snyder doesn't have that title now. Who does yeah, he have owns the, title now? He owns the Bulls, too, and the Bulls suck. Probably Reinsdorf. He's up there. He's up there, but I don't think he's the worst. Dude, James Dolan. The you, you know what my biggest thing is, though? What? Give me two seconds. James Dolan might be the worst owner in sports. Yeah. Okay, don't like dox my location. Hold on. I almost just doxed myself. Keep in mind, I don't know anything about the MLB or uh, NHL. but No, I know, but I'm about to show you something. Ready? No, I, I'm talking about just bad owners. Yeah. Um, Why is the ticker pink? Yeah. Burns made it pink. Yeah. Watch this, right? So... There's Soldier Field, right? Right. Why is it such bad quality? I don't know why it's so like laggy. Mm. Right? There's Soldier Field. My right. seats are actually right there, right where my nice. mouse is. You see my mouse? Yes. 
Yeah. But here's the thing, right? You see how much parking there is. None. Yeah. This is the parking right there, right there. That's terrible. And then you got to walk all the way through this building right here. That's awful. And then, and then, fuck. That's I'm really awful. That. Yeah. And then there's a little bit right here. There's a little bit right here. And then there's an underground, like barely parking garage underneath. And that's it. But if you drive down or just a little bit south on Lakeshore Drive, right? Where is it? Hold on. Did I miss it? What are you looking for? The White Sox Stadium? Hold on. And I'm like way too south. There it is. Look at how much room there is right here. This is all just it's a parking. proper stadium parking. Let's not like, the, and it's right next is, to the that's highway. That's not that impressive. That's how most stadiums. No, are. I know, I know, and it's right next to the highway. So if the White Sox fuck off and get out of Chicago, tear this thing down and build the Bears Stadium right there. Build the Bears new stadium right there. Then they shut up the people. The White Sox ever potentially moving? Is that a, like a? The yeah, Orioles no, moving is a thing. Ever since this Nashville thing has come up. The O's moving is a thing. That's all that's been a thing for uh us and um still. Yeah, whether or not because that now no, the camping Michael, yards lease has oh been God, signed, Michael so like skilled. Michael's so skilled. Look at that Disney World. Do you see that zoom in? Incredible. That was pretty cool, right? Watch this, right? Hold on, right? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Bang. Michael couldn't find it. I can though. Incredible. I'm like that. And I'll probably be sitting right there in April. Why did it go all the way over there? Why is it a rental truck? All right then. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show because that's the thing, right? If the bears, the bears could move there. And all problems are gone. Literally every problem that they had before would be gone. I just don't know if you could build a football stadium there. I just don't know if it's big enough. You think it is? Yeah, I was about to say, is it big enough? If you could fit a baseball field there, you think you could, I think that you could fit a football stadium. I don't know. I, How I many seats does that place have, no too? Guaranteed rate. I know that's big field. Oh, they would never make that a football stadium. They, you know, no, I know, I know, I know. I was just wondering Chicago. how many people. Oh, 40,000. The, the attendance is 40,000. Yeah, it's nothing. Soldier Field is only 20K more. That's it. So you could you could build a wow, stadium Soldier on that Soldier Field's site. one of the smallest stadiums in the league. It is the attendance. smallest stadium yeah. in the NFL. It's only 61,500 yeah, people. Yeah, that's tiny. Yeah, it is tiny. Josh, why do you think I hate it so much? Well, there's a lot of reasons. It's known as not a very good stadium. No, it's not. Old Soldier Field had more seats, but it was all bleachers. Commanders are going to move to Virginia probably soon. Or yeah, they are. There, there's yeah, a, yeah. there is a little bit of a movement to move them back to the city and put them where RFK used to be, but they're yeah. going to more likely than not go to Virginia, the Commanders. Yeah. Virginia is not a bad idea. Dude, that's that's what all these teams are doing now is building stadiums outside the city. Yeah. Well, because it's currently less money. they play in Landover. Yeah, but I mean it's less money and it makes more sense. That, well, that's the thing. There is, there is a movement though because it the Virginia idea has been kind of the like foregone conclusion for a while. There is now a movement to just put them back in D.C. Oh. Uh, Problem is. Gotcha. Where I've well, known. Josh, I got about it 10 more packed. minutes on here. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. Chad, anything you guys want to talk about here? Yeah, because I gotta fucking on get... dude. I'm so nervous about this shit, Josh. Have you ever been to Ford Field? No, I've never been. The only away stadium I've ever been to, the only away game I've ever been to was last year. I went to the Saints Superdome, which is very cool. Yeah, that's sick. I completely forgot that you went to that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, dude. Definitely, Maybe. I think every NFL fan would say this, but definitely a goal of mine is at some point to watch a game in every stadium. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Now, the, the certain stadiums that I feel like I really want to get to, number one is SoFi. 
And I yeah, and my, we play the Chargers in LA next year again. So I've already began like a campaign to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, my my number one's probably after so that is probably now. Lambo. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That I was shocked that that wasn't your one. That's my two. Okay, yeah, Lambo's pretty cool. Um, but I'd say SoFi. And then Atlanta wanna, and Minnesota too. I'd Minnesota wanna, seems I, awesome. I want to go to Vegas really bad. Yeah. And I want to go. I'd love to go to Minnesota. Well, Minnesota would be cool. I'd actually really enjoy that stadium. I think. Let me see. Who are the Bears' opponents next year? Colts. Uh, Al Quinn yep. Muhammad has been suspended six games. Oh, Pro Bowl vote uh, getters have been released. Tua is your leading vote getter right now, followed by C.J. Stroud, CMC, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey. Uh, Jeff Zrebeck, uh, Ravens beat reporter, telling uh, uh, added information here. Kevin Zeitler is the leader for guards, and Roquan Smith, leader for linebackers. Kyle Hamilton and Geno Stone. Geno Stone should play. I'm sorry. I love Geno, but no. But Kyle Hamilton should be for leading for wow. their positions as well. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I'm looking at the Bears' opponents next year, and we play um, the Rams at home, the Seahawks at home, the Jags at home, the Tennessee Titans at home, NFC South to be determined, and AFC East to be determined at home. So looking at it right now, we'll probably play the Patriots at home. Right. And the Carolina Panthers again at home. Yeah. That's pretty cake. That's pretty cake, Joshua. We look at the Ravens one. Yeah, check that one out. Ravens That's pretty cake, year. dude. And then we play at Detroit, at Green Bay, at Houston, at Indy, which I will be at 100%. Future at opponent. Minnesota, obviously, at San Francisco. And then we're at an NFC East team. Because yeah. next, yeah, next year, it's the uh, NFC that gets the extra home game. Because this year was the AFC. So next year, the yeah, NFC. Thank God, dude. Home, thank AFC. God. Dude, that's so unfair. If how they charge. Them. No, 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 no. How they charge you the same amount of money. And they say, oh, you get um, you get an extra preseason game. <laughs> that's such bullshit. All right. So next year, the Ravens home games, obviously Cleveland, Cincy, Pittsburgh. Home against Vegas, Denver, the Commanders, the Eagles. Oh. Ravens Eagles in Baltimore next year. Ooh. And then home against AFC East. If we both win our division, that should be Miami home again. We play, I'll be like the fourth or fifth year in a row. We'll, we'll play Miami at home and then away Cleveland, Cincy, Pittsburgh. Oh my God. Whoa. All right. At chiefs at chargers at Cowboys are all games away next year. Uh, then we're at giants at AFC South. That would be Jacksonville again. And at NFC South, which is TBD, it's probably either Atlanta or New Orleans. That's pretty fun. Yeah, that is crazy. We go to Kansas City, Dallas, and the Chargers next year. <coughs> but that's what, that's what happens when you're Josh. good. You get a tough schedule. Josh, what do you think about the Bears running the table and making the playoffs? No. Does it does it pique your interest? It's not going to happen. Does it pique your interest a little bit though? Do I find it interesting? Right? Like if they if they beat Detroit on Sunday, does it pique your interest? If they beat Detroit on Sunday, then we can have a conversation about the Lions. No, we could have one about the Bears. But you have you played Minnesota twice yet? Yes, and we went one on one. Did you split? Yeah, you split Minnesota. You have played one against Detroit already, right? Yep. You're 0 1 there. Game. So you have to win. And then Green Bay, you're 0 1. So you have to win that one too. Yep. Okay. So that would put yep. you. Yep. And then we play the Chargers, the jo- I mean, the, the Joe Flacco Browns, and then the Arizona Cardinals in Chicago, the Falcons in Chicago. Listen, if Justin Fields balls and the out. Packers. Guys, I, I the voices in my head are talking. This no, is not me not talking. The voices in my head are talking. I'm mentally insane. Nine and eight, run the table. Yeah. Before we sign off, I have your uh, 
these are fan vote only, but these are your leading vote getters uh, for the Pro Bowl right now. Starting with the AFC. Tua Tagovailoa. Wow, this is just Dolphins. Tua Tagovailoa, Raheem Mostert, Alec Ingold, Tyree Kill. That's all Dolphins. Travis Kelsey, Teron Armstead, Dolphin. Kevin Zeitler and Creed Humphrey. On defense, Miles Garrett, Chris Jones, TJ Watt, Roquan Smith, Jalen Ramsey, Geno Stone, and Kyle Hamilton. And then special teams, Dustin Hopkins, Ryan Stonehouse, Braxton Berrios, Duke Riley, and Blake Ferguson. On In the NFC side of things, Dak Prescott, CMC, Ravens legend Kyle Juszczyk, C.D. Lamb, George Kittle, Trent Williams, Zach Martin, Jason Kelsey. On defense, Nick Bosa, Javon Hargrave, Micah Parsons, Fred Warner, Deron Bland, Jesse Bates, and Reed Blankenship. What? And then special teams, Brandon Aubrey, Jamie Gillian, okay, Rashid Shahid, Terrell Burgess, and Andrew DePaula. No Bears. No. We got Roquan. Cairo should be number one. He is a best kicker. kicker. Best kicker in the NFL. But Brandon Aubrey, I mean, hasn't missed. His story is so cool. It is. It's very cool. All right, you want to sign off now? Yeah, I got to go and take this fucking final. Hey, um, send a prayer up for me, boys. Um, hopefully I do get on this final. And then... I could just chill. Well, actually, I got to wake up early and I got to do a presentation, but that's cake tomorrow. But send a prayer up for your boy. The next Normal time you will see Friday. me. Yes. The next time that you will see me on the show. Wow. The next time that you see me on the show, I will be at home. There you go. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. So I will see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Go Ravens. Go Bears.